Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another reading. Um, I am back on here today to do another spread. I'm going to be doing a relationship spreads today. Yet another pick your deck situation. Um, I have two decks, such as what I felt like doing was two. Um, one of our decks has Adventure Chain and it's a green crystal. The other one is our orange calcite crystal, okay? Now, I've said this every time, but just to remind you, um, don't don't think too hard on which deck you want to choose, but also don't choose blindly. So just pick the, des uh, the deck that resonates the best with you, okay? So we'll go ahead and start with the first deck, which is the Adventure Team. group one, the adventure team group. Um, just if you're not aware, um, I'll go ahead and explain the spread just a little bit. So the two on the left and the right represent you and the other person in the relationship. Now keep in mind this is that not have to be a romantic relationship. It can be any kind of relationship, a friendship, teacher, student, mother, daughter, co-workers, um, whatever kind of relationship you think this is associated with. After I do the reading, um, I'm sure you'll know what relationship this book best represents in your life. The top card represents the illuminated dynamic, or this is kind of the more obvious way that you two interact with each other, the well-known way that you guys interact with each other. The bottom card represents the shadow dynamic. So this is more, I kind of explain it as the elephant in the room. It probably is something that you guys might both be aware of, but you don't really talk about. It could also be something that you're not aware of at all. It could be a subconscious way that you two interact with each other, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the first, um, the two people in the relationship. I don't usually explain this too heavily just because this spread is more about the dynamics in the relationship, okay? So it looks like the first person is the six of coins. Now, Coins usually represents abundance or lack thereof. Let's see, six of coins. Coins also means pentacles in a more traditional tarot card deck, for those of you who don't know. Six of coins, good financial trend on the top, on the up and up, caring acts, generosity, charity, benefactor, paying attention, being vigilant, desire, illusion, envy, jealousy, paying debts, or bail. Okay, so whoever this person is, in the relationship and this is probably the person watching um they're they're doing good right now you know they have um like i said coins or pentacles that suit represents money abundance or lack thereof um even though you are on the up and up right now and you're making good money and you're feeling very secure you might be a little jealous or envious of other people in your life you might also be working on paying off some debt aren't we all so um let's go ahead and look at the moon so the moon Actually, you know what? Well, I'll, go, I'll read it, but I can explain it. Um, all right, the moon, night energy, twilight, reflected lights, illusion, deception, uncertainty, errors, trickery, dishonesty, danger, terror, power of feelings, developments underground, undercover, or in the womb, hidden forces. Okay, so the moon usually represents, I kind of think of moon energy, at least when it comes to tarot cards, I think of moon energy as a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I think of opposites and I think of balance, right? I also think of illusion. So it could look like something, like a certain situation could look like something, but it's something completely different, right? It also, the moon card also um, represents wild and tame and that there's a good side to both. Um, or maybe being more of a air or water with fire and earth, right? Just. It's kind of like opposites attract. So you can even see in the card that there's a wolf and a dog. There's two sides of the moon being represented, right? There's the mountains in the background, but the water in the front. Um, so it can really represent balance, but it, it can also represent delusion or illusion. I'm sorry, <laughs> illusion, like meaning that something or someone maybe is tricking you. Maybe this person puts up a good front, but they're actually something underneath doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. It doesn't mean that 
they're like deceiving you or anything like that necessarily. It could be, but it could also be that maybe they put up a front that they're really strong and tough, but when it's just the two of you, they're, they're very affectionate and soft. Could be. Um, let's, let's dive into the um, dynamics. So let's go ahead and look at the eliminated dynamic first. The star, hope, bright promise, faith, recovery, gifts, symbols of Im immortality, light of the spirit, light at the tunnel's end, good prospects, new dawn coming, frustrated expectations. Being appreciative of one's blessings, right? Um, having faith in whatever you believe in. Um, in this case, it's probably having better faith in your relationship with whoever this is. But new blessings, spiritual growth. Um, I really think that since this is your illuminated dynamic, your relationship with this person has grown not really in a materialistic way, but in a spiritual way, right? You're you're thankful for having this person in your life. You're thankful for having this kind of relationship in your life. And you guys have really grown together spiritually. Um, you have more faith in your guys' relationship. I think that you guys have come a long way. Okay, so I think in the beginning, whoever you're in this relationship with, whether it be romantic or not, um, it might have been very frustrating in the beginning. Okay, especially since this other person may be isn't very secure with their true self, so they might um, put up a wall and act like something they're not. Um, but I really think that you guys are getting to know each other and you're, you're spiritually bonding and you're spiritually growing. And this person is becoming more and more comfortable with themselves. Let's look at the shadow dynamic. It's nine of coins. All right, nine of coins. Material comfort, abundance, wanting for little, accomplishment, honor is gained, sense of self-worth, safety and security, prudence, long-term planning, managing danger, able to weather a storm. Okay, so the nine of coins, the suit of coins, like I said before, means basically means abundance, right? So your nine of coins means wanting for little. Because, like it said in the book, wanting little because you already have a lot. You have a lot of wealth. You have a lot of comfort. You might not be rich, but you're comfortable. You have what you need. You have what you want, right? Since this, this is the shadow dynamic, and nine of coins also represents um, long-term planning for things as well. And since this is the shadow dynamic, I really think that one of you really wants to plan for the future more and you have big ideas. You have, you want to, you have this idea of living in a house. You have this idea of being comfortable. You have this idea of being happy and not needing anything more, right? The other person might still be playing video games and kind of living day by day, which neither one of those things is really a bad thing. Um, but I really think that you guys aren't seeing eye to eye. One of you is really wanting to like think about the future and be comfortable and the other one just really isn't on the same page. It doesn't, they don't really care as much about it. I also think that this could represent a brand new romantic relationship where one person is very content financially. They're very comfortable, right? They might even be wealthy, um, not really needing much more or wanting much more. And the other person is not in the same situation, right? So they might be feeling a little bit insecure. The other person might be feeling self-conscious that they're not at the same level of financial stability or comfortability in their life, right? Um, so it could go either way um, with that. Um, very interesting situation, very interesting relationship. I'm really leaning towards this maybe being a new romantic relationship but it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic one either. I could also see this being even like a sibling rivalry type of relationship going on as well. Okay. All right, group one. Um, I really hope that was insightful for you. Um, let me know down below what you thought of it. And I'm going to go ahead and start on group two, which is the orange calcite.
All right, group two, this is your relationship spread. Let's go ahead and look at the two people in the relationship. So the first person, or just like the other, um, the first deck, um, is more than likely the person watching this right now. So you have King of Swords. Swords, the suit of swords can really represent um, devastation, turmoil. Um, let's see, King, not necessarily. King could really have his shit together. King is an intellectual authority, stern and logical. He offers counsel based on superior knowledge and experience. Okay, so this person in this relationship is very black and white, very logical, very intelligent, um, does offer a lot of advice because of that. He does have a lot of a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience, okay? So yes, swords does represent devastation and trauma. Um, the king, though, I really think of the king of swords as already having gone through that, right? He's gone through a lot of devastation um, and trauma. So he has a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom because of that. He's also very stern because of that. So whoever this is, I feel like you've gone through a lot and you're very wise and have a lot of experience because of it, right? So the next person in the relationship is also suit of swords, three of swords. The three is a sign of heartbreak or grief. It is important to remember that it's temporary and a normal part of life. Okay, so the next person in this relationship definitely represents kind of like the opposite, okay? This person is going through something very, very hard right now or has gone through something recently very, very hard. Um, they know it's not permanent or maybe they don't realize it's not permanent but it's definitely not permanent. They will get through it. And I think it has a lot to do with the other person or the person probably watching this. Um, they have been through all of it already. They have so much wisdom and experience. So they're actually helping this other person get through this right now, right? Um, again, whether it be a friendship, a romantic relationship, or a family member, um, definitely trying to help this person through. Let's look at your eliminated dynamic. Wands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have ten of wands. Wands is associated with fire, so transformation, passion, right? The ten is a sign of burden and responsibility. Being dependent on is a good thing, but beware of being overworked. Okay? The ten is a sign of burden and responsibility. Being dependent on is a good thing, but beware of being overworked. Worked. Worked. Okay. So, yes, again, this person, whoever is watching this King of Swords, is really helping out their Three of Swords right now. Okay. And I think it's very obvious that you guys know this. Okay. I think it's very obvious that it's not easy. And I think it's very obvious, too that even though the King of Swords is very established and very wise and experienced, he or she, um, I say he because it's obviously a king in the picture, sorry. It's obviously a king in the picture, but this could ob obviously be a woman. Um, but this person, I think it's well aware that he or she really needs their breaks every once in a while with being therapeutic, right? Um, this person knows it. It might be hard for them to realize when they do need it, but the King of Swords, he's so established and so confident that they don't have a problem with saying, hey, I need to go take some time for myself, right? Um, but you need to be reminded to not feel guilty about that King of Swords, okay? You need to take time for yourself or you're going to be overworked and not be able to help anyone. But I really think that you guys are already aware of this. I mean, it is the eliminated dynamic. Um, just don't forget to give each other some space. Um, Three of Swords, you really got to realize that King of Swords is, yes, again, very confident and established, but they're not a superhero, okay? You've got to give them their space and let them um, do their thing, too, because you can't just be 100% dependent on them, right? Let's look at your shadow dynamic, which is the King, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. The knight embodies a fast-thinking and ambitious person who takes decisive action without much planning. Okay, immediately I think of our Three of Swords because Knight of Swords are very, very impulsive. They take action. They're very hasty. 
Okay, it's not necessarily a bad thing to jump into something, but I think that's what has gotten you into such tough situations, Three of Swords. I think our King of Swords is really like trying to figure out how to tell you or explain to you or have that conversation with you that you need to stop being so impulsive, okay? Um, that's why that's in the shadow dynamic, really. I really think that that is going to be a conversation soon. And if you haven't thought of that being a conversation soon, you really need to. Because that is what's really bringing the three of swords down. That's what's really bringing the other person down and putting them into such tough situations. You really got to slow down. And you really got to think before you do things. Again, taking action isn't a bad thing. But being hasty and being impulsive can really bite you in the butt, right? Um, really interesting spread here. Opposites, balance. I think it's a good relationship. I think you guys are really good for each other. Whether this be romantic, parent, whichever. Um, but just make sure you're still establishing those boundaries. Most boundaries you guys are establishing fine. Um, but if you need to sit him down, him or her down, and let them know that, you know, you got to chill on that impulsivity, um, you need to do so, right? Because in the long run, it's just hurting them, and it's hurting you because you're in a relationship with them, so. Anyway, I hope this was uh, clear and insightful for you guys. Um, let me know down below what you thought of it. Um, I do have a few other videos posted with a pick a deck situation. Um, go ahead and go watch those as well. I also have an Instagram, same thing as here, Abby the Witch. I do tarot card readings for specific people on there, free tarot card readings. So if you follow me on there and reach out to me, who knows, you might get a free tarot card reading on there, okay? Also, um, I've been thinking about doing some more witchy type talks or witchy type activities on here. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in that as well instead of just tarot card readings. I'd love to show you guys some of that. And until next time, I hope you guys stay safe and well. Bye!